Good morning, everyone. This morning here, anyway. I'm going to go over today some of the common mistakes that real estate agents make on social media. A lot of these mistakes can really hurt agents, help them waste their time, money, mess up their personal brand, all that. It really, we need to go through, you know, being um, authentic, things like this. We're going to get into all this kind of stuff. So these are some of the big common mistakes. We see this a lot when agents first start and when agents get kind of, you know, saying, you know, don't be complacent, you know, complacence is the killer. A lot of agents do that where they're just like, okay, I'm doing the same thing over and over, change it up, do something different. I'm going to go through about 10 different things that you can cover that will keep you from, you know, being good, some mistakes on social media that can kill your brand, things like that that will help you do better. The first thing we're going to talk about is a lack of personal branding. What that means is that when you do your videos, you do your things, it needs to not only be stock photos, generic templates, um, things like that. At least 50% should be something with you in it. They can see you, they can know you, they can get to talk, you know, get your, see your face, all that kind of stuff. That's important for people to want to get to know you, see what your brand is like, and get connected to you. You need to have some personal branding. This lets you know who you are and let you resonate with your values of who you are, what you sh what you do, um, kind of your personality. If you're a little silly like me, if you have some fun, if you're a very serious person, it's different. It's all fine. That's your personality. That's what people get attracted to. That's what people want to become part of. And that's what they want to follow your brand for that. The next thing is a lot of people are not leveraging video content. I say this all the time in my classes as well, is that everything the most effective form of social media platform is videos, except of course for Facebook ads. Video content is always the most effective. It's going to go through, it's going to get attention. Oh, excuse me, it's going to do all that. If you're not using videos and using it, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're going to lose clients. You're going to lose opportunities. Now, when I do videos, you know, be out there. Other videos we have on the channel, we talk about, you know, I do Instagram videos and we show you how to do all that using AI and things like that. Talk about that in a minute too. <clears throat> Take advantage of this. Do videos. When you do, when I do videos, I try not to just do them if I'm doing live, just not standing in my office. You know, if you're going to do a video talking about San Antonio, where I happen to be close to, I can go in San Antonio and I can go down to the Riverwalk and do a video with the Riverwalk, be talking about a great place to San Antonio is to live with the Riverwalk in the background. That's the kind of video stuff you want to get done. You want it to be you. You have to be in the video at least half the time if you're going to be doing those type of videos. And then you want to be able to show something about the area. It's very important. The next one is a lack of authenticity. A lot of agents I see so much that they're like, I'm, you know, they don't want to be on camera or when they get on camera, they get so nervous and they don't, they're not authentic of who they are and what they do. A good example is myself. I'm, you know, I'm pretty laid back. People who know me, I wear, you know, nice jeans and a button up shirt and a blue blazer. Usually that's kind of my outfit and that's people know me by that outfit. That's my authentic me. If I was dressing in a three piece suit, you know, or, you know, whatever, anything really fancy. And I had ties and, you know, fancy stuff. And now and then, of course, you want to dress up and go have fun. But that's not me. If that was me every day, then that would not be authentic. Because that's people know I don't do that. If all my videos, I dressed totally different and acted all stiff and stern and didn't have any fun in the videos, they would know that that's not me. And that wouldn't be make it so I could not get as many followers. It would really reduce my authenticity and lower my, you know, my views and all that. So be you. If you dress a certain way, if you act a certain way, do that. Have fun with it. You know, make sure that you're going to do that. The next big thing a lot of agents aren't using is they're not utilizing AI tools. This is huge. We have um, ChatGPT, Opus Clip, you know, Big View, all that kind of stuff that we can use to pull and do things and have all kinds of really fun stuff automatically. If you don't know how to go to ChatGPT and put in certain prompts, there's a million videos out there, a million training tutorials on how to use it correctly. Things like that are very important. Um, they do a great job to give you ideas. You can do, if you need some stock pictures, you can use ChatGPT to do stock pictures for you even. And those can be part of your videos. You'll see, I have some in this video as well, shown as we, as we go to different sections, I have some different pictures utilizing that. There's a bunch of different things you can do. It just depends on how you want to do it and what you're looking for. I highly recommend, you know, whatever type of video you're doing, 
you know, whatever YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, whatever X right now is called X and Leah, whatever you're doing for your YouTube and your or your whatever videos you're doing, this is YouTube, of course. I have the script ready, have it here. No, I'm I have a script right now. I'm going through. I have your AI tools set you an outline, I have it work, and then you take advantage of those AI tools so that you can do well and be successful. It's very important. The next big issue a lot of agents have is they don't prioritize doing videos and doing content. And like on my calendar, I have a spot on my calendar that says, you know, do this, do videos. I know every week I have time where I have to make some videos, even if there's only a short, like this is a short, you know, 10, 15 minute video, whatever it's going to end up to be. It doesn't have to be a super long content, just something to give value back to the clients, something to show something, either show a home tour, or show something, whatever you're doing for your value. You want to be able to do prioritize in there and go do that. Show the value, go to a home, go whatever you need to do to show your value, have it prioritized on your calendar. Okay. If you don't have your calendar ready to go and you don't have time blocking done, we'll have a video on time blocking later that'll come on the channel. And then that will walk you through how to block, how to do a calendar. There's another one earlier. Um, we're going to redo it again with a, a newer update on it, but that will help you get an idea. How do I time block? What should I look for? What do I worry about? Have that in your calendar. You need to have that prioritized as one of your calendar things. Another thing a lot of agents do that I see is when they first start, they spend all their money buying the most expensive equipment and on, you know, all this kind of stuff. And that's okay if you have the money to do that. A lot of agents, when they start, they're just getting the business. They don't have a lot of extra money to do those type of things. There's nothing wrong. Like, for example, the microphone I bought, you know, a $30, $40 microphone for that connects for a USB microphone that connects to my computer. When I first started, that's all I used. And it was perfect. It was, you know, it was great. I just had to have my mouth closed to it, which is fine. It's all good. But I didn't prioritize not putting out content until I could afford the most, you know, the four or $500 microphones and the fancy this and the fancy that. You don't need to do all that. Prioritize just getting out some content. Start it, you know, make it good or try to make it good. Now, one of the things we talk about when you start doing content is probably going to be terrible. So don't hold that against yourself because you're trying something new. When you try something new, it's hard to be really good at first. Just get out there, try it, practice. Once you get through the learning phase, it's going to do a lot better. You're going to get more followers, more subscribers. And then at that point, you're going to be doing well. And then you're ready to move forward from there. You're going to start killing it and then you'll make some extra money and then you'll be able to buy the new fancy equipment. So prioritize more putting out value and stuff. Don't worry about, you know, so much the fancy stuff. Get some value out there, content value. <clears throat> the next one a lot of agents don't do, and I think this is very important to me, I like to do this a lot, is you need to analyze the data of what's going on. So every week or two, I go to my YouTube channel, I see what people are watching, I go for the last year, I know once every couple of months, I say, okay, how, what happened the best over the last year, the last month? I see what people need for the value. What's the top trending video searches out there? I go to Google. I say, okay, what's the top trending searches right now for social media, for, you know, this, for this kind of a real estate? What are people worried about? And you build your, your platform, your value based on analyzing the data. So you got to make sure you analyze the data out there. You can do that with Google Analytics. You can do it with Facebook Pixels. Um, you can just go to Google. Google Trends and it tells you what people are searching for. There's so many different ways you can analyze the data and go through. Take the time to analyze the data, put that out there and then follow that data because that's what people are looking for and more information on. Keep it simple. Another thing is people do is they don't become a student of the platform. So what I'm meaning by that is it tells people make sure if you're going to say, for example, if I was going to be only using YouTube, I have a couple other platforms I like, but if YouTube was my main one, I need to study YouTube. How do I get good SEO, search engine optimization? How do I rank at the top? How do I get, you know, people saying, oh, hey, you, I recommend this video. Look at this. You could do this. How do I do that? What should I be looking for? Et cetera. That's being a, a student of the platform. There's so much information on the internet now. You can easily get some free, some free, um, some free tor tutorials, things like that, whatever you want to call them, some free videos learn how to use anything. I've done that a lot. I wanted to get good at YouTube. I was terrible at first. I'm not perfect yet. I'm still learning, but that's okay. You got to start somewhere. And then I started practicing the platform, putting out videos. My videos are getting a little better now. They're going to continue to get better over the next year or so. 
I'm going to keep learning and keep doing better. And you can see your channel now. I went from almost nothing. Now I'm getting more people every day. I haven't gotten in the millions yet, but I'll get there. And then we're still going to keep pulling, doing what we can to add value to your channel. So be a student of the platform. Study your content, what people need, who uses it, the demographics that go over collapse a little bit into marketing and learn that and kind of go through it that way. Um, a lot of agents have a problem with their bias thinking. So what we mean by that when you have a bias thinking problem is that you do a video like I'm doing now. When I'm done my video, you want to make sure you listen to it. If it's terrible, redo the sucker. If it's not terrible, great. Hopefully this video won't be terrible. And then you'll be able to go through and it'll walk out and you got to think, okay, if I, when I've done, I'm going to listen to my own video. If my video stinks, if I'm like, I would never to waste my time watching this, then okay, I would not going to do any more videos like that. Because you want to be biased. You want to be biased against yourself a little bit, not being mean or anything, but you want to think what another, you know, my target audience, of course, right now for this video is real estate agents because I'm into the training, helping them out in my area. So I'm going to say, okay, would other agents find this same thing of value? Would this be a quick mind thing, you know, 10, 15 minute video they could listen to as they're walking in the morning, as they're working out, something to add value, a little jump start to their day, where it's just something to let them think about different things they can do. That's how they're going to think. So you have to think the same way. Is this video going to bring value to anyone? Would anyone even watch it? That's where you need to start thinking like that. Okay, I'm going to make sure people are watching and it brings value. But like it, that's going to be what people are going to enjoy and they're going to watch it. Another thing you want to do is you want to stop overcomplicating it. This is the last big point I want to cover. A lot of agents are, you know, they try to really, they need a complicated script. They need all this equipment as we talked about, all that kind of stuff. Don't overcomplicate it. Just take your phone, do a, a short 20, 30 second video. And now you have, you know, a short, a live, whatever you want to do for it. You can post it on, you know, Instagram, or you can do it on Reels, anything you want to look for to do short and quick. That's a quick, easy way to not overcomplicate. Be in front of a house and just be like, hey, this is Andrew. I'm in front of this beautiful four bedroom, three bath house out here in Bernie, whatever, San Antonio, wherever I'm at. Check this out. I'm going to walk, do a tour. I'm going to do a live tour and have my video. My, and boom, you're done. That was it. And then they see me. It's not complicated. I don't have to use fancy equipment. I'm in the video. I find authentic. See, I'm talking about all these different 10 steps I just mentioned, you can tie them all into it. A lot of them will happen automatically when you just get out and do it. Don't overcomplicate it. You don't need it to be perfect. People like it better if it's not perfect. Then they laugh and kind of chuckle and say, oh, that was good. That was cute. And then they're going to laugh about that and then just enjoy being there, being part of the process. And it's going to be good. That's what people want to see. They want to be part of the process. They want to be there with you. They want to see it. They're going to enjoy that. Let them become it. Don't stop overcomplicating it. Enjoy it. Follow it. You know, have, be part of it all together with your clients, with the people you're looking for or the people you're trying to help for your content. Hopefully these give you some good 10 things or 10 objections. Um, I shouldn't say objection. That's a silly word for this one. But 10 common mistakes that real estate agents make. So think about that. What can you do to overcome these? Make sure you're not making them. And if you are, just change. It's not a big deal. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.